okay, before we load the ink to the printer, uh, load the ink from the damper to the print head, we go to the control panel at the left top of the machine. Then we go to enter, and we go to make press down to the maintenance. Then we press enter again. Then we go to choose down, to choose clean nozzle, and we press enter. And then we choose two heads, because we first had to load ink, then we choose two heads. We press enter again. Enter. Then we start cleaning. Then we can see the capsation start to move up. And then start pump, pump the ink. Then we can see the white ink is coming out to the waste ink bottle. Then start pumping out the waste ink. Then start wrapping the waste ink out by the wrapper. After the wrap <clears throat> out the waste ink, then cut it back to home position. Then flushing. After the flushing, then pump out the flushing waste ink out. Then go back up to keep wet. So by cleaning, we can see the white print ink and the color ink all are go from the ink damper to the print head, then go to the pump, then go to the waste ink bottle inside. So before we do the cleaning and do the not check, we must be sure that ink is pumping out from here. If not pump out, then we need to little adjust the capstation screw from the top. We open the cover, we can see that we can little adjust the, the cap station. One, two, three, four. The fourth screw to little adjust the cap, the caps to be sure the cap is at the middle of the print head and the surround wire. If the wrong position of the cap station, then it cannot load, pump the ink out. So this is the procedure to clean the print head and load the print head. And also, if uh, you are not long term use the machine, you also, if you got some clock, small clock of the print head, you still need to do the cleaning as this way. Go to the front control panel to do the cleaning. To, after cleaning, then you go back exit to go back to the desktop. Be sure the machine is ready. So this is a procedure to do the cleaning of the machine to load ink. Okay, before we print, we need to set up the margin, X margin, printing position. From which position to start print, which one is the zero. So before delivery, we already set the zero position is from the edge. So for example, we load the film to this position. So we need to let the, the printer start to print it from this position. So we just need to first go to the control software to set the margin for printing. So we go to the control panel on the left top of machine. Then we press the left button to move the carriage out of home position. We press little bit by little bit. So here we are see the position is 22. Then that means we start from 22 position. So if we want to make it smaller or make it bigger, we just press right to reduce the number from 16, 11, or press a little bit by little bit to increase the X margin. So when we press the left and right, then the carriage 
start to move to left or move to right. So, for example, we want to print it from the 20, 20 position or 15 position. So we just, uh, for example, we want to print it from 15 position of the edge. So we just press to 15. Then, after we already adjust to position for 15 for margin, the 15 is for position pause, it's position. 15 means the position from edge to the start printing position on the axis, axis, carriage axis. After we set, then we just press OK, press Enter, press the Enter button. Then capping head, then that means the print will start print start printing from the 15 position. And before we print, we need to open the white ink circulation and steering. First, we open the white ink this circulation switch. Now it's closed, and we open about to. 40 or 45 degree. About 40 degree to make the white ink circulation. And we can see the white head, white ink trying ink tuber is a little bit shaking. The white ink is start to circulation and then back to the white ink tank. That means the white ink is working well. And then we adjust the white ink steering and also we by this way it's off we adjust about 50 degree or 60 degree to make sure the white ink is shaking without settling so after we adjust these two kind of knob and also the x axis Position for margin, we already set up ready from the machine. Then we can start print a job, and also we already ripped the file. So please remember the X margin is set from the control panel from here, but not from the software. After we set, and also it's show ready from the screen, we can see it's show ready. And the unit selection low speed means the correct setting of the software. And then we can start to print. So we just go to the software and we choose the nozzle test option. Let's return to the board. Then the print starts to print another check picture. Maybe you can see the nozzle is pulling out perfectly for white and for color. But the white ink is more hard to see because it's on the white paper. But we can see still see the white nozzle is pulling out and the color nozzle. Like just the one nozzle for black. So if we can got the nozzle over 95%, then we can have good print results. So if you cannot got a good nozzle check print, then we need to do the cleaning procedure as before from the top control panel to do the cleaning again. Then we print the nozzle check again. Just to be sure, you can got the all the nozzle for white and for color over 95% nozzle print out. Then you can start to print a picture. Otherwise, you need to do the head cleaning again for several times to be sure all the nozzle over 40, over 95% print out. Okay, after we did the, the head cleaning again, then we do the nozzle check again to check if the nozzle print good or not. Then we can see the white ink coming out good. 
So this is the one ink nozzle for this channel and for color KCMY yellow first is black, black, yellow, cyan, cyan, magenta, magenta KYCCMM print out like this the white also printed with good nozzle test you can see the nozzles print out for white ink at the front so you can got the nozzle good like this then we can start to do the calibration later